So in this video, I'm gonna see if the brand HelloFresh is really worth your money. I probably shouldn't have done that. So first things first, what exactly is HelloFresh? So HelloFresh is actually a meal delivery company that basically tries to make your life easier when it comes to getting in meals, whether it be for your family or even yourself. Now the one interesting thing about HelloFresh is that they don't actually send you meals. Alright, I know that doesn't make sense but let me explain. What makes HelloFresh different is that they actually send you the ingredients for your meals and then you cook it at home for yourself. So they're pretty much like the IKEA of food. So basically they send you the parts and then you do it yourself, if that makes sense. Also, before we go any further, I would just like to say this video is not sponsored by HelloFresh in any means or forms. This is just my views and opinions because it's my first time trying out HelloFresh. But, with that being said, if HelloFresh just want to sponsor me, please, then, you know, I wouldn't say no. So just to quickly run down how HelloFresh works is step one, you order what kind of box you want. So for example, meat and veggies, or just veggies alone. Then step two, you choose how many meals you want for how many people in a week. And then finally you pay and then select what meals exactly you want from the list of recipes they have on their website. So for this review, to make it fair, I chose one meat dish and one purely vegetarian dish. Then for the portions, since they didn't have an option for single people like me, I just went with the option for two meals for three people. So today I'll be playing the role of single father with two imaginary children. Great. So without further ado, I ordered the box and waited for it to arrive. Alright, so when the box arrived, I was quite excited to open it. So the first thing I noticed inside were these sheets of paper, which were the two recipes I selected for the week. On these sheets of paper was pretty much everything you needed to know, which were the instructions for the recipes that came with step-by-step -step pictures, which my easily distracted brain can appreciate. Other than that was a list of all the ingredients you needed, together with nutritional and allergy information. Then for the ingredients itself, they came in their own individual bags, and together with it was this foam contraption, which I then realized was to keep certain ingredients cold, such as your meats. So with that, let's make the first recipe, which was my meat dish, and on the menu was crispy skin chicken breast with a mushroom sauce, roasted carrots and a garlic mash. So overall the chicken dish was surprisingly good because normally if you think about meals with chicken breasts, what comes to mind are things like the Sahara Desert and my sense of humour. In other words, dry. One thing I have to note though is that if you did follow the recipe precisely, you would probably end up with dry chicken. This is because the time given to cook the chicken was way too long. So I had to actually use some of my limited but functional cooking intuition to take it out early. I think if you followed the time exactly, you would end up with rubbery chicken and if you did feed that to your family, you would probably be arrested for child abuse. For the portion size itself, I would say it's a pretty substantial amount once you separate everything out and plate them individually. One negative I have to bring up though is that the dish does have a lot of individual components that all require attention. So it's pretty hands-on with the prep, meaning you will probably be standing in front of your stove for a while, which can be tiring. Overall, I would give this dish a 6 out of 10 for its great taste, decent portion size, but not so great on the ease of prepping everything. 
<laughs> Next for meal two, we have Cajun spice roasted vegetable stew. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> Alright, so this was the purely vegetarian dish I chose and coming from someone who eats a lot of meat, this was actually pretty good. It was kind of like those American chilies you get, like a really hearty and filling meal. In terms of prepping everything and the cooking part, it wasn't too bad because all you had to do was roast some vegetables and the rest of the dish came together in one pot. Also, I know it was labelled as spicy, but this dish was not spicy whatsoever. Like I added all the spices provided, which was actually more than the recommended and it was still not spicy. Alright, it wasn't spicy to me, but maybe, you know, it is to a certain demographic of people. Ahem, ahem, ahem. I thought the combination of the stew with the rice and the yogurt dressing went really well together. And in terms of portion size, you actually get a lot of stew out of the ingredients. Probably like 5 to 6 portions, which is great. So overall, I would give this dish a 9 out of 10 because of the minimal prep, decent portion size, and overall great taste. So now that we've tried everything, let's go over the pros and the cons. So for the pros, number one, I believe it's a good way to improve your general cooking skills. By just following the recipes provided, you get to practice cooking every single week. And also you get to try things out of your comfort zone, for example, different cuisines or even a different style of food. Number two, you get fresher meals. All right, I know it's quite self-explanatory, but yeah, you get fresher meals because you're cooking everything from home, from scratch, with ingredients. Number three, it takes away the stress of having to worry about meals. I can imagine if there are days where you just come home and you're so tired and you don't want to, you don't, don't want to worry about anything else and you just want to eat. So with this, I think it's a pretty good option because you already have your recipe. You just need to follow it. You don't need to think, follow it, cook your meal, eat, and that's it. Now for the cons. Number one, it isn't really time saving. I say this because you generally still have to chop everything and make everything from scratch. So the time saving part really only comes from not having to go to the grocery store and buying the ingredients for yourself. Personally, I actually like going to the grocery store. I don't know why, I just like walking around aimlessly and looking at, looking at everything. I don't know, I feel like an old man, but I find it quite therapeutic, so. Number two is the pricing. So generally, if you don't apply any discounts, you're looking at about five to seven pounds per meal. So this is obviously cheaper than, let's say, buying food out every day. But I would say it's not cheaper than buying all the ingredients yourself and making it. So as my overall thoughts, I think if you're someone who doesn't mind spending a little bit more money, or if you're someone who just doesn't have any time to go to the grocery store, for example, then I think HelloFresh is a decent option for you. On the other hand, if you're someone who likes going to the grocery store, or if you're on a really strict budget, then I think going the extra step and buying everything for yourself is probably better. So with that, that is my full review of HelloFresh. If you enjoyed the video, do remember to like it. And if we can hit 50 likes, then that would be great. If you're new, do consider subscribing. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any moment in time. With that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!